She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I think this is a Vegan Eats episode 2 because I have just been really, really interested in finding different vegan places here in Korea and sharing them with you guys. So hopefully in the future when all the borders open up again and we're allowed to travel, y'all can be like, oh my god, Iman showed me all these vegan places that I could go to. <laughs> So that's why I am excited to continue this series. If you guys haven't checked out the first episode, definitely if I can link a card here, go and check it out. I got to have some plant-based donuts. Oh my god. They were... You know what? Just go watch the video. I ain't gonna spoil it. But today, I am heading over to a French-Canadian vegan restaurant. What? Je parle un petit peu de français, mais... Oh. Yeah, today's not gonna be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> All my French is gone. Je suis très désolée. But yeah, I'm excited because they have things on the menu that I've been dying to have for like such a long time. And to see that they have vegan equivalents, like your girl has to go. I don't know if I could be all extra like this. <laughs> I'm in their restaurant, so if you see my look looks a little bit different, that's why. I wasn't trying to be that extra person in the restaurant. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> So let's go and hopefully it's delicious. I've heard it is. I've seen the comments, but you know, the suspense is killing me. So and let's go. <laughs> And we're back! <laughs> I know I looked completely different in the clips when I was, I think, at La Pause. La Pause. I don't know how you say pause in en français. I forgot my French. Wow! If you think about it, both those places were French. That was not on purpose. That was so not on purpose. The first restaurant that you saw me go to, Chez Valerie, it's really small, hole in the wall, but it's just so quaint and homey, and I just loved it. She had like French 
music playing in the background. The lasagna was so delicious. It is so filling too. Like I didn't get to finish my poutine, but it wasn't enough for takeaway. Okay, like that's how full I was. It was so delicious. It was so, so good. And the service was amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It was so good. They do have a dessert menu, um, but like I said, because they're really small, I didn't want to be there for like too long, you know? So I had my lasagna and my poutine. Ugh, delicious. And then after that, I walked to... I walked towards Hapjong Station and near Hapjong Station, kind of, there is a bakery cafe. It's a vegan cafe called La Pose. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm messing it up, but anyways, it was so good. I got their whole wheat strawberry cake um, and that was delicious. Like they have their vegan menu, but then they also have like gluten free. If you're like you have a sensitivity to gluten they have menu options that fall under that category so that was nice to see and i literally had the whole place to myself because the other dude was outside <laughs> the owner and her employee they were so nice to me they let me film they were like just don't film us we don't want to be <laughs> in the video but i got their permission and they said it was okay and it was delicious I really 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 hope you guys check them out down below if you are here in korea in the future and you want to have some ideas about where you can go but i did say that i was going to hongdae i mean it's in that triangle hongdae hapjong sangsu it's in that triangle so but i went to mangwon which if this is hapjong station mangwon station is like one stop before so i went to that area to go to chez valerie and then i just walked the like 15 20 minutes to the vegan bakery that's closer to Hapjong station and Hongdae and all that area so it was so good i highly highly recommend it your girl is so full <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video definitely give me a like subscribe for more let me know if you're enjoying this series if you'd like to see more places to go that are vegan and obviously muslim friendly at the same time and taste amazing like i know i'm not the only one who's visiting these places but i would just love to share it with you guys because it's a lot of fun and yeah i think that's it so i will see you guys in my next video bye annyeong tell me the bio bye me and my extra self <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. Say you wanna be somebody. Sick of being